Hello, authors and writers. You know, one of the first things I do when I look at a book, whether it's physically in person or I'm online and I'm in the search inside feature, is I look at the formatting. I go into the print edition. I want to see exactly how it's formatted. Is it easy on my eyes? Does it have space between the lines or is it crammed together? Are the lines really crammed together going across horizontally? Is the font too small? Are there breaks within it? When it comes to nonfiction books, I really do want to see eye candy and breaks. We're much more tolerant with reading line after line after just text with a fiction book. But when it comes to nonfiction, I really need the eyeball break because I'm looking for information. I'm not looking for escapism when I read um, nonfiction, which will allow me to be looser on how I would interpret how a book is designed and laid out. But, you know, as my friend Rebecca Finkel says, a book designer, you know, ebooks don't have to be ugly, neither should print books be ugly. There is so many things that a gifted book designer can do on the interior of a book, on the opening chapter page, fiction or nonfiction, to engage uh, the reader from the get-go. For me as a book consultant, you know, a book doctor, the things that I have to do is I am looking for how can I bring um, pizzazz and pop, not only to the author's writing, their style, their words, their choice of their structure um, for their storyline or how they're displaying their information. But I'm really thinking of how could I work well with the designer to give them little tidbits that they could create pullouts um, and, and you know, uh, boxes of some sort that they could add imagery in, or is there you know, killer lines within this uh, chapter that might want to be highlighted a little bit um, in a duplicate matter. Think about this as you go forward. It's just not plain words going down. It's the experience of reading that you're doing as well. I'm Judith Bryles. Share this tip with others you know who are writing.